um, a couple weeks ago, um, buried deep down in the Social Security Act. So um, I want to put this information out there for you guys. Um, bring more, like I said, bring more awareness to what's going on. Um, and again, you can check Haley out over on her page. We have not made any videos yet. This was a decision made um, very recently. And um, so we haven't gotten to that yet. But um, I, I simply tagged her in her silly video last night and she's already got like 70 some odd followers. But um, she's a fun, interesting, energetic, loving, adorable, sweet, smart, super smart, super, super intelligent. Because smart and, smart and intelligence are two totally different things. Um, young lady. And I love how she is growing up. And I want to keep her on that path. And this and I want to keep healthy and obviously yeah so that's the direction we're gonna go feel free to uh, go follow her page if you want I apologize there's no videos on it yet because this was a decision that was abruptly made and um, I don't even know who that was oh I know who that was um, my daughter had a hard time with understanding negative comments. My advice is wait a little longer. Well, I'm going to have access to that. Um, not her. And also, Allison, I don't know if you know how to filter out comments. So filter out different words so that those comments, uh, don't ever show up on your page. Uh, so that she won't be able to read them if she did have access to them. So that's another thing that you can do. Um by going into your privacy settings. It's right in there for you to do. Um, and you can do that for lives as well. Um, but, uh, Rocco requested a live with me. When did you, did you request a live? Well, since we've been on here, I saw one person did that. Um, Rocco, I want to give you time, and it's 2.27. So, Rocco, if you want to join, join for, like, three... I have literally three minutes. I'm not even kidding. Three minutes if you want to join. So, um... Hi. Oh, my God. I can't believe how much you're talking about. I wanted to do that so many times. I just. You're scared. Uh, don't even know where to start. You know, you're starting with people that don't know nothing. And and even if, if you and I even get into it, like you, you start getting into it day after day after day, people aren't following. And then they come in from in the middle of it. That's so, hard to do. That's, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, your video. Yeah. I didn't watch your videos, but videos would probably be the best because it would take them step by step. But I went through hell, you know, if you let child services take that child, they pay for everything. But they told me go down and file. That, I can't speak to that. Um, mine was through my ex-husband and myself. So um, but oh so his, you just you left with the child well I, I always had her so, okay and um at five weeks he violated a temporary restraining order broke into my house attempted to kidnap her and um uh the police came he got his third DUI that night and um, the rest is history. I mean, granted, a lot more things happened prior to that. I don't generally talk about them. Um, that would be like a whole nother ball of wax. But yeah, so at five weeks old, we officially split and I had, um, you know. What happened? But that doesn't mean that just because I had her doesn't mean that there wasn't an extensive amount of litigation. 
Right, just, right. I mean, it right. Didn't but stop. there's also a problem. <laughs> there's also a problem. Like, see, I had my grandchild for a visit, and she had bruises on her. So I took her to the police department, and child services got involved. Now, if they take that child even for an hour, like back to wherever they go, and then they place the child, they pay me to take care of the child. They'll pay me for the food. They'll give me beds. They'll pay all the legal fees. Um, I ended up having to pay everything just because I didn't let them have her for that hour. I let her stay with me. Well, I can't all. speak to that. So... Um, but, but that's a big um, awareness to have, believe me, because it's costly. Yeah. It's yeah, costly. Litig- is, is extremely, is extremely costly. Yes, uh, absolutely. They charge for emailing me, me emailing them, them reading it. I mean, <laughs> I had child support and the lawyer said he was on the phone with, um, probation for 30 minutes and two weeks later i got a email child support was stopped well what'd you do for 30 minutes <laughs> you know it's crazy i i just i you know well because they round up it depends on how they bill some bill every 15 minutes some bill oh yeah every 30 no no minutes. i don't mean the bill i'm saying i lost the child support because I had to show college enrollment. We gave him the college enrollment. He submitted it to them, and then we lost the child support. So I fired him. I fired yeah. him. Because that's law or with your state and everything. Um, you New know, Jersey. What? Oh, you are in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. you are. Yeah. I'm in Roselle, and I had to go to um, uh, New Brunswick court. So you should get child support i believe until she she he oh yeah i'm getting it now i went pro se and got it back and everything or something like 23 i think think. yeah 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 so the mom Uh, wasn't paying we just had her locked up she wouldn't pay she wouldn't pay so she got locked up she got out in a day or two but you know when was this that she got locked up because i'm just i'm interested in that only because Mine, so bio for me did stop paying child support. They put a warrant out for his arrest. That warrant stood for two years without them being able to serve him. And after those two years. What do you mean serve him for what? Child support? Serve him the warrant for his arrest. Because he didn't, he he doesn't live in New Jersey. I don't know. I, we called. Um, there's an abutsman. You ever heard of the abutsman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We called him and then they kind of told us what to do. And we followed that. Um, and then once there was a child support order in, the judge waited a couple of weeks. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I, I guess a letter a letter goes out to them to like surrender themselves, and if they don't, they'll just sheriff will go get them. But I think yeah. since you have your 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 um, ex is in another state, that makes it. I think that makes it difficult. The sheriff just can't go there from here. Yeah, no, there is there is none. Like I think I think don't quote me on this. I think if it was PA, because I think PA and New Jersey are considered like adjoining states for that. Right. Um, but that's something that they could have done. Don't quote me on that because I'm not totally sure. I think um, it would be a big help if you went to his state and filed. Now you could get him. Well, I mean, I'm not going to. Well, you just take I, your paperwork over to there. It, you take your it, has to, it has to stay in the state of its jurisdiction and then the child support. Which, Understandable. But you're trying to get him. You're trying to get him arrested so that you can get something out of him. You're going there for help to get notify him. He lives in right. that state. They need to help you. So what happened was after those two years, and then I have to get off. So I have to get somewhere. Um, 
they had a hearing is not something per my request, but, um, you know, they wanted to know where he was, what his contact information was, which I really didn't have the information to. And I gave them everything that I had or sus suspected. So, um, uh, they then put him in a nationwide database. So that's what happens from there is it, it escalates to like a different department of some sorts. And at that point they were able to find him. Um, so that's how we, how it went about with my case is, and that's what, what the state was doing on their own. That was not even something of my request. Um, my concern was for her safety, um, and just didn't want to poke there, I guess you could say. Um, you got so a double the feedback. There's a, a, a big echo. Is, is there, um, I apologize. Well, you know what, Rocco, how about we jump on another live together at another okay. time? Cause I, like I said, I have to leave here, so I'm really sorry to cut you off, but, okay. um, I, I did preface this with I have three minutes. I think it's been more than three minutes. Yes, but I, do have to, I do have to go. It was so nice speaking with you. I'm so glad that you got your situations resolved and that you were able to do a pro se as well at yes. the same time. So that's really amazing. So <laughs> thank well, you. It was no problem. All, All right. right. I'll, I'll see you again. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.